graphing a parabola in vertex form. The vertex form equation is y equals a, and inside parentheses x minus h squared plus k. From the vertex form, we can find the vertex, axis of symmetry, and direction. The vertex is the coordinates h comma k. The axis of symmetry is x equals h, and the direction will be up if a is greater than zero, or down if a is less than zero. Title of the first section is graph in vertex form. In this section, we'll take equations in vertex form and graph the parabola. First equation, y equals 3, inside parentheses x minus 3 squared plus 2. From this equation, we can find the vertex. The vertex x comma y. If we look inside the parentheses, the number after the minus sign will be the x value. Or you can also take the opposite. If it's x minus 3, x would be positive 3. The y value k, the last number, positive 2, stays the same. So the vertex would be 3 comma 2. The axis of symmetry, which is the line down the middle of the graph that makes the graph symmetrical, will be the same as the vertex and the same as the h value, x equals positive 3. And last part we can find from vertex form is the direction, which will either be up or down. Looking at the value of a, which is the number outside the parentheses, if we have positive 3, the direction of this graph would be up. Graphing from here, we can draw the xy axis. Our vertex is at 3, comma 2. If you want to, you can draw the axis of symmetry, which is the dashed line going through the vertex. That makes the graph symmetrical on both sides. And last part, the parabola shape will go up. So we'll sketch the graph going through the vertex and pointing up. And that would be the graph for the section. Second question and last question for the section. Y equals negative one third in parentheses x plus one squared minus three. Again, this equation is in vertex form. We can find the vertex of the parabola. The vertex, if we have x plus 1, the opposite would be minus 1. And the y value stays the same, minus 3. The axis of symmetry. x equals the same coordinate as the vertex, or the same value as h, x equals negative 1. And last part, direction. Looking at the value of a, or the number in front of the parentheses, negative 1 third, the direction of this graph would go down. Sketching the graph for the equation. The vertex, negative 1, negative 3. The axis is symmetry. If you want to, you can draw the dashed line through the vertex. And last part, the parabola opens down. So sketch the parabola shape opening down. And that would be the graph for the equation.
title of the last section today is changing an equation to vertex form. In this section, we'll take a quadratic equation and change it or rewrite it in vertex form. The definition or way to do that will be to complete the square. By completing the square, we'll be able to change an equation into vertex form. First equation for this section, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 1. To complete the square in this section, we can rewrite y equals, and we'll have x squared minus 6x, and to that we'll add a blank spot or a number in which we'll complete the square. Putting this first part in parentheses, this will be our factored form. The plus 1 we'll put outside the parentheses. When you complete the square to solve an equation, we'll add the same number to both sides. For this one, we want to leave y by itself. So instead of adding the same number to both sides, we'll add the number inside the parentheses and also subtract that same number out the, outside the parentheses. So we'll add one number and subtract that same number, which will cancel out. The equation for complete the square, if you remember from previous sections, is b over 2 squared. b value for this equation is negative 6. So we'll have negative 6 over 2 squared. Negative 6 divided by 2 would be negative 3. Squaring negative 3 will have the value of 9. So we'll add 9 inside the parentheses and we'll also subtract 9 outside the parentheses. Factoring from here, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. You can use a diamond method to factor or if you remember the shortcut for complete the square, the number inside the parentheses will be the same number inside our factored parentheses, which is minus 3. So x minus 3 squared is the factored form of x squared minus 6x plus 9. Outside the parentheses, we'll have a plus 1 minus 9, which if you simplify is negative 8. So our final answer in vertex form, y equals x minus 3 squared minus 8. Second equation and last equation for the section. y equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 8. Again, we'll take this equation and rewrite it in vertex form. When you complete the square, if you remember, the a value has to equal 1 or positive 1. Right now it's equal to negative 1. So before we complete the square, we'll cancel this negative 1 out or factor a negative 1 out. Factoring a negative 1 out will give us x squared. Factoring a negative 1 from the negative 4 will be positive 4x. The plus 8 we won't factor a negative 1 out, but instead we'll add the missing number we'll get in just a minute, and the plus 8 we'll rewrite on the outside. Also, the number we add to the inside will be subtracting on the outside. From here, we can figure out which number we're going to add to the equation to factor it. And again, the equation is b over 2 squared. b is equal to 4, so we'll have 4 over 2 squared. 4 divided by 2 would be 2 and 2 squared would be 4. So we'll add 4 inside the parentheses. Instead of adding 4 though, what we're actually doing is adding 4 times a negative 1. So we're adding 4 or adding negative 4, which is the same thing as subtracting 4. If we're subtracting 4 inside the parentheses, we'll change this one to addition and add 4 on the outside. So negative 1 times 4 would be negative 4. The positive 4 on the outside 
would cancel with the negative 4. Factoring from here, negative 1 would stay the same. Factoring x squared plus 4x plus 4, you can use the diamond method or the shortcut. The number inside the parentheses, positive 2, will be the factored form x plus 2 squared, 4x squared plus 4x plus 4. And a positive 8 plus 4 would be plus 12. So our final answer in vertex form, y equals negative 1, x plus 2 squared plus 12.